Problem number 238. Problem number 239. Problem number 238. The lower ends of the three bars in the figure are at the same level before the uniform rigid block weighing 40 kips is attached. Each steel bar has a length of 3 feet, an area of 1.0 inch squared, and modulus of elasticity of 29 times 10 to the 6 psi. For bronze bar, the area is 1.5 inches squared, and modulus of elasticity of 12 times 10 to the 6 psi. Question letter A. Determine the length of the bronze bar so that the load on each bar is twice the load on the bronze bar. Kung isusulat natin into equation yung statement na given sa problem, ano daw dapat yung length ng bronze para yung force ng steel is twice the force ng bronze? Question letter B. Determine the length of the bronze that will make the steel stress twice the bronze stress. Ano daw dapat yung length ng bronze para yung stress ng steel is twice the stress of bronze? Nung hindi pa daw nakakabit itong 40 kips na rigid block, is same level lang yung bronze at steel. If this is the original position of bronze and steel before the weight is applied, eto ngayon yung deformation ng steel and bronze which is equal. The condition is stated in question A, the force of steel is twice the force of bronze. Next is using this condition na kung saan yung deformation ng steel is equal sa deformation ng bronze. From this equation, I-substitute lang natin yung formula ng deformation. PL over AE per steel is equal to PL over AE per bronze. From this equation, I-substitute lang natin yung mga values na given for steel and bronze. Force of steel, PS. Length ng steel, 3 feet times 12 para maging inches. Over area, 1.0 inches squared. Modulus of elasticity, 29 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Is equal to the force of bronze. Let ng bronze unknown, over area, 1.5 inches squared, modulus of elasticity ng bronze, 12 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Since ang condition na given sa problem, PS is equal to twice ng PB. Kaya yung PS, palitan natin ng 2 PB. Since common term yung PB sa magkabilang equation, pwede natin i-cancel out yung term na PB. At ang matitira na lang na unknown is yung LB, or yung length ng bronze. Solving the value of length of bronze in this equation, ang makukuha nating answer is 44.69 inches or 3.72 feet. Sa letter B naman, ang given condition sa problem is the stress of steel is twice the stress of bronze. Using this condition again na kung saan yung deformation ng steel is equal sa deformation ng bronze. I-substitute lang natin yung formula ng deformation is equal to stress times length over modulus of elasticity. Ipinalit ko lang yung equation na to sa deformation ng steel at sa deformation ng bronze. Stress of steel times length ng steel, 3 feet times 12 para maging inches over modulus of elasticity, 29 times 10 to the 6 psi is equal to the stress of bronze, length of bronze over modulus of elasticity ng bronze, 12 times 10 to the 6 psi. Since ang condition na given sa problem is that the stress of steel is twice the stress of bronze, kaya papalitan natin yung stress ng steel as twice ng stress ng bronze. At dahil common term yung stress ng bronze sa magkabilang equation, pwede natin siya i-cancel out. At ang matitira na lang na unknown is yung length ng bronze. Solving for the value of LB, ang makukuha nating answer is 29.79 inches or in terms of feet is 2.48 Problem number 239. The rigid platform in the figure has negligible mass and rests on two steel bars, each 250mm long. The center bar is aluminum and 249.90mm long. Compute the stress in the aluminum bar after the center load P per 100kN has been applied. For each steel bar, the area is 1,200 mm squared and modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal. For the aluminum bar, the area is 2,400 mm squared and modulus of elasticity of 70 gigapascal. Dahil 250 mm yung length ng steel at 249.90 mm yung length ng aluminum, Yung gap na to is equal to the length of steel minus length of aluminum, which is equal to 0.10 millimeters. 
Yung nakikita natin sa figure is yung itsura niya lang bago pa i-apply yung force P. At kapag in-apply natin yung force P is magkakaroon tayo ng deformation sa steel and aluminum rod. Sabihin natin na ito yung magiging final position ng rigid platform after i-place yung 400 kN na force. At yung settlement ng rigid platform from original position to final position is yung kanyang deformation. Yung deformation na to is equal lang din sa magiging deformation ng steel. Pero dahil may gap na 0.10 mm sa part ng aluminum, kaya yung deformation na to is equal sa 0.10 plus deformation ng aluminum. From this condition, ang magagawa natin na equation is the deformation of steel is equal to 0.10 plus deformation of aluminum. Kunin natin yung free body diagram nitong rigid platform. At ang mga forces na nag a dito sa rigid platform is yung applied force na 400 kN, yung reacting force ng steel sa rigid platform, PS, ng aluminum at ng steel rod. By taking summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, force ng steel plus force ng aluminum plus force ulit ng steel is equal to 400,000 N. Pinag-add ko lang yung dalawang PS, so meron akong 2 PS, is equal to 400,000 N, ilipat ko lang yung PA sa kabila, kaya naging negative PA. Sinimplify ko lang ulit yung equation by dividing both terms by 2, PS is equal to 200,000 minus 0.50 PA. Tawagin natin to na equation 2. From equation 1, gamitin natin yung formula ng deformation equal to PL over AE. Using equation 1, PL over AE for steel, is equal to 0.10 plus PL over AE for aluminum. From this equation, ipalit lang natin yung mga given values na meron tayo. Force ng steel, eto yon yung na-derive natin, 200,000 minus 0.50 force ng aluminum, eto yon. Length ng steel, 250 mm. Area ng steel, 1,200 mm. Modulus of elasticity of steel, 200,000 megapascal is equal to 0.10 plus force ng aluminum, unknown, length ng aluminum, 249.90 mm, over area ng aluminum, 2,400 mm2, and modulus of elasticity of aluminum, 70,000 MPa. From this equation, pwede mo na makuha value ng PA using Shipsol, pero ipagpapatuloy ko pa rin yung solution ko using algebra. Ang makukuha nating value ng PA is 53.942 newton. Ang hinahanap sa problem na to is yung stress ng aluminum. Stress is equal to force over area. Yung force sa aluminum is 53.942 newton, yung nakuha natin, over area ng aluminum, 2400 mm2. Then the stress of aluminum is 22.48 megapascal.